Hey YouTube, it's Ryan and Tails Ends, and uh, the video, or this thing that I'm doing right now for you is going to list out uh, the best picture nominations and who I think is going to win best picture. So instead of actually telling you what I think about the films, I'm instead going to read the synopsis from Oscar.com. And the first movie that is nominated is uh, Black Swan. A, uh, when Nina, a talented young ballerina, is awarded the prize dual role of White Black Swan in the production of Swan Lake, her fragile mental uh, state begins to deteriorate. Fearing that another dancer's natural affinity for the uh, for the darker Black Swan character will win her part, Nina begins a disturbing descent into her own dark side. I really did like this picture. It was kind of a mind mess, but... Uh, with Black Swan, um, that is uh, nominee number one. The Fighter. Two brothers struggle with the personal challenges and the complexities of the relationship as they pursued a shared dream of greatness in the boxing ring. Up-and-coming fighter Mickey Ward is torn between his loyalty between his older brother and his manager Dickie, and his desire to move beyond a chaotic life that threatens to derail his plans. The next picture is Inception. Dom Cobb, kind of crazy, is an expert of a particular type of corporate espionage known as extraction, which basically gets into your mind, in which he inserts himself in your target screens, gains their trust, and learns their secrets. One final job may allow him to leave the dangerous profession, but it involves an impossible task of implanting ideas in his subjects rather than extracting them. And the kids are all right, uh, the synopsis for this is when a teenage when the teenage children of a lesbian couple seek out their biological father, his growing presence in their lives threatens the family's emotional fabric. For moms, Nick and Julia, the challenges exacerbate the existing problems in the relationship while children, Johnny and Laser, uh, gradually or Joni and Laser <laughs> gradually begin to see beyond the appealing surface of the newfound parent. The King's Speech Plagued since childhood by a paralyzing, a paralyzing stammer, the future king, George the Sixth of England, has given up hope finding a cure for his impediment. His uh, his concerned wife urges him to seek help from an iconoclastic Australian speech therapist, Lionel Logue, who's played by Jeffrey Rush, who insists on the level of familiarity of his new patient with the royal prince of is loath to permit. That's an awful. Uh, okay. The next picture is 127 hours, and um, this is a when a climber, Aaron Ralston, falls to uh, fails to leave a word of his plans and he sets off for the solitary outing. He finds himself without hope of rescue after he falls, and uh, a fall leaves his arm pinned by a boulder. With only limited food and resources to him, Aaron must find a way to survive and free himself from the deadly trap, which he cuts off his arm. So there you go. The semi-autobiographical, though fake, uh, feels real but is probably fake, social network synopsis. Harvard undergraduate Mark Zuckerberg develops a computer program that will eventually become the phenomenally successful social networking site Facebook. Yet Zuckerberg's lack of social skill in the world outside of the virtual realm in which he excels leaves him with a trail of broken relationship and questionable ethical choices. That is the social network. Now, if I were to vote, Toy Story 3 would be the one that I would vote for, but I don't think it's going to win, so I wouldn't vote for that. Toy Story 3. As Andy prepares to leave for college, his toys face an uncertain future. Now that the little boy who played with them is growing up. Their problems seem to be solved when they are donated to a local daycare center, but in reality, their life proves to be quite different from what they expected. Basically, they were messed around with. Um, not like that, but you know. True Grit uh, is when uh, Maddie Rose's father is murdered and, and his killer, Cheney, seems to have likely to remain unfound. The determined 14-year-old hires the meanest lawman she can find and pursue him, a hard-drinking U.S. Marshal named Rooster Cogburn, which, uh, if you 
saw to Kubrick the original, it was John Wayne's Oscar. Uh, accompanied by a Texas Ranger with his own agenda, the pair sets off into Indian territory and on Cheney's trail. Winter's Bone, which is the last nomination, is with her father absent and her mother suffering from a crippling depression. 17-year-old Ray Dolly uh, struggles to provide for her family in the poverty-stricken rural Ozarks. When she learns that her father has disappeared while on, uh, on bail after offering the family home as collateral, Ray sets out to find him before the court can seize the property. Those are the 10 nominations for the Academy Awards this year. Now, if you stayed with me for nearly six minutes, um, you realize that um, I would have uh, picked Toy Story 3 to win the Oscar, but it's something that I just wish. I wish that an animated movie would win the Oscar, but it's not something that is probably going to happen. Uh, the uh, more likely three or four that I think that are going to uh, be real big Oscar contenders are the ones that won in the award shows before, and that is actually a, a good and bad predictor. just really depends on the year. 2010 was a very weak year for, uh, for Oscar nominations because uh, people who had pretty good acting skills got nominated for Oscars. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that they don't deserve an Oscar, but uh, in a year that, that had such bad movies, I think that uh, like uh, Jeffrey Renner, who got nominated for The Town, his acting job in that movie was better than a lot of people's acting jobs. But in a normal Oscar year, it wouldn't even be considered because there just was so many bad things this year. This year is heavy, heavy, heavy on uh, people with male actors who produced really good acting jobs this year. There were very good female acting jobs, but the male acting jobs this year just seem to be bursting out there where there's the women. There are very specific ones that got nominated, and I'm glad that they did get nominated. The two from The Fighter, the people from um, Natalie Portman, Michelle Williams, uh, people from Winter's Bone, and uh, things like that. Very, very good decisions for, for acting nominations, but there was just such a big field in the men's nomination that it was a surprise to see Mark Ruffalo and Jeremy Renner in there. I I really hope at some point in their acting careers they will get an Oscar because I will be there and clap. I'm just waiting. Um, again, this year, uh, for me, I think the three or four films that have a good possibility of winning the Oscar are uh, King's Speech, which I think is probably going to win the Oscar. I have no idea. Um, True Grit, which is something that was kind of snubbed during the awards season, but had lots of nominations during the um, the nomination process for the Oscars. Uh, Winter's Bow, which is out of nowhere, a drug kind of film that uh, tears at your heart, but uh, if there wasn't 10 nominations, I don't think that it would have been considered for uh, Oscar. Uh, and... Um, the Social Network, of course, it won the the Golden Globe, is a good chance to win. And did I say Black Swan? I think that it will go to the King's Speech because there's just so much. And it is the kind of movie that the Oscars like really depends on the, the campaigning of it. And that people don't realize that there's a lot of campaigning and screenings and uh, parties and things like that so that people can come watch these great movies and these great acting jobs and it really depends on studios and whatnot and, and critics saying things so I think that uh, King's Speech is going to win the Oscars but don't be surprised if True Grit, Winter's Bone, Black Swan uh, all come into the mix for the Oscars because they are great movies. And I'm not just saying that the other movies are, are bad or anything, but uh, that I, I vote or I don't vote. I, and, and I don't really hope. I just think that King's Speech will win. And don't be surprised if Black Swan or Social Network or uh, True Grit or, or Winter's Bone comes in and sweeps in and they get only one, but they get Best Picture. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure of the actors. 
and the actresses. So uh, for that, it's Ryan and Tales End. You are sitting with me for 10 minutes watching about movies. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a good week.